Hey guys, Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales, coming to you from Paducah, Kentucky on one of the most beautiful Kentucky sunsets I've ever seen this time of the year. Look at the color of that sky, guys. Check it out. All right, 2023. Speaking of the star of the show, the winner right here. Check this one out. 2023. 1492 Coachworks. These guys are based out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and I'm telling you, they are going to change the market on luxury coaches. The fit, the finish, the durability, the materials they're made of, unbelievable. Wow. Okay? So, hang with me here. We're going to do a quick spin on the exterior, then we're going to walk through the inside. Now, let me give you a little history on this one. Uh, it will be titled as a 2023 model. The coach was finished this year, 2022, and it will be titled as a 2023. It is on a 2017 International Lone Star chassis. Uh, the gentleman that had this coach built wanted a Lone Star, and something that kind of unique, kind of helps it, kind of hurts it, he wanted a manual transmission. He comes from an old school trucking background and he wanted a manual transmission. So it's got a 13 speed manual in it. Uh, it's got the Cummins ISX 15, the big 15 liter. I believe it's tuned, pushing around 550, 600 horsepower. I know one thing, I've drove the coach, she will flat boogie. And hey, that's not fake stacks. You know, a lot of these guys are taking trucks anymore, putting the weed burner exhaust underneath them, and this dude will roll some coal, baby. All right, so let's go around it. Again, finished in 2023, 17 model chassis, the conversion, all done by 1492 Coachworks. You're going to see from the outside, uh, when we get on the inside, the fit, the finish, the quality, wow. Uh, we'll start again. On the chassis, it's got dual 115-gallon fuel tanks under the door. So you got one under the driver's door, one under the passenger door. All of the doors on this thing, the compartment doors. I'm going to go back here to the back of the coach and open one of these up. I want you to see just how, like, the lock, the door's heavy. I, I bet this door weighs 40, 50 pounds if you took it off and just held it in your hand. All like an automotive-style lock. See how tight that is? Look at the machined barrel and everything they've got for the lock. I mean, wow. Okay. And that's airtight. Okay. When you go to open it, just like an automotive latch. And you can see there, he's got his uh, shore power reel, his water reel, and even got an air chuck air reel back there. Too cool. I'm impressed. I know I sound excited on this video. I'd sell a bunch of coaches. We sell some really nice stuff. These guys are going way, way, way above and beyond, okay? So, first compartment there, we had our shore power cord. It's 50 amp service, of course, probably a 30, 35 foot cord. Uh, next compartment up, we've got uh, part of your water header. You've got one of the digital touch uh, screens gonna show us levels. You can literally run the whole coach right here from the wet bay. So, even up here, look at his water header kitchen supply, bathroom sink supply. If you ever need to drain them or you have a problem, I mean, you can literally walk over here and shut it off right there. So we've got the wet bay. We've got our electrical stuff. Uh, right up here, we've got a Onan 10,000 watt generator with around 260 hours on it. Um, a few of the bays on upper storage. We've got a 3,000 watt inverter. We've got the uh, 8D uh, big AGM batteries on it. Uh, we've got all our slide out controls, which everything's digitally controlled inside. But if that ever fails, you can also come down here to one of these bays, go right to the HWH controls for the hydraulic slides and run everything from the lower compartment here. So there's a backup plan. Um, full body paint, multiple layers of clear coat. This thing looks like a mirror walking around. You can actually see the reflection of the uh, trees in the background. Quad slide. Um, all HWH hydraulic slides, 40,000 pound towing capacity, even comes with the big Gen Y hitch, okay? It's a torsion hitch. 
really saves wear and tear on your coach. We've got glad hand fittings for your air ride or air brakes. Um, on this side, if you'll take a look at the photos on our website, race-haulers.com, uh, Lauren will uh, throw the website up on the screen there. Jot that down, race-haulers.com. Check out the online photo album. You'll see in this back compartment, we've got a outdoor grill. It's an infrared grill, which means um, you uh, can cook electric, and I think it's actually propane as well, so either way. Uh, the next one down is a outdoor kitchen. The next one down is storage. And then over there to the right of the door, we actually have one of the Dometic outdoor cooler. That's uh, a uh, fridge or freezer. And then we got tons of storage. Something else. I know I'm bringing a lot of new ones on you here. Let me show you something that I thought was really cool. So instead of these being just individual boxes, okay? This one is like also connected to this one, okay? Look at that. So it's one big compartment. It's two doors, but it's one huge compartment. Just listen to those things shut. Wow. Um, outdoor entertainment. Uh, I actually closed that. I need to show you that. So out here we've got TV and a so Samsung smart TV. As you can see, I got some Netflix stuff pulled up there, and then we've got a Sono soundbar. All high end stuff. Okay, so fourteen ninety two Coach Works, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, I met these guys at the PRI show in Indy last year. He had his uh, like his first show coach there that was PRI in 2021 in Indy. And uh, Aaron is his name, owns the company, super nice guy. And he said, hey, I'm fixing to put a product out there that's going to turn some heads. And he did exactly what he said he was going to do. This is the first one I've had. Um, acquired it from the original owner. He built it, had a little change of plans and uh, we're gonna get it sold here. So um, 2023, 1492, quad slide. Um, even got a 675 series Aqua Hot. I, I thought they only put those in like the Prevo buses and marathon coaches. And um, you know, from what I see here, I kind of get the feeling like this is like your Prevo or marathon or Liberty coach version of a Super C, okay? And I think you'll agree with me. So if you have any questions, my phone number's there on the screen. Give me a call, shoot me a text. I uh, would love to earn your business. And the lower right-hand corner, I believe, might be left-hand, but right-hand corner, I think, is the subscribe button. Hit that button, please. Follow our channel. Would love to have you in tune to all the content we're putting on. So gonna take you inside and uh, show you what we got here. All right, let's take a little stroll through the interior. So, as I said in the beginning on the outside, um, these guys go way, way, way over the top with everything, okay? Um, and you're gonna see that on the inside too. So, mid-entry coach, we just came through the door there. And on our passenger side, we've got residential fridge, super nice, very neat, clean, good size kitchen area. How about that sink? Kohler brand product. Again, something you would see in a very nice home. Check out those countertops. Oh yeah. Two burner induction cooktop, uh, Whirlpool stainless microwave, Samsung uh, TV, Sonos, soundbar with a sub, fireplace, stereo system, direct TV with the DVR recording. How about a walkthrough cab? Now that is what you call a walkthrough cab. So I'm a six foot three. I'm gonna walk towards the cab right now. Okay, I'm standing flat footed. My head does not hit the wood trim. So folks, I'm here to tell you that is the definition of a walkthrough cabin. Love it, love it, love it. All right, more to show you here. So on the driver's side, we've got what I would call a super slide, every bit of 25 foot long. I don't have a measuring tape on me, 
but I bet you I'm pretty close, 25 foot. We've got two powered theater seats, which directly across from them is our fireplace and our Samsung TV. Um, so theater seats, a uh, little cabinet between them there, some storage countertop space to set your drinks. We've got a booth style dinette with uh, some storage underneath it. Uh, more cabinetry here, heated floors. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, and check out that tile. It looks like wood, but that's tile. Okay, uh, we've got some cabinets there. Now let's bounce over here. We've got a half bath that is blocked or separated by a sliding pocket door. Again, same backsplash that you saw there in the kitchen area. Nice uh, medicine cabinet, some cabinets above the commode, uh, electronic flush toilet. And then we'll roll on back here. Uh, the master bedroom, king size bed. I don't know the brand of mattress, but I do know it's comfortable. Tested that bad boy out earlier. Very, very comfortable. Also, all Firefly controls on this. So everything is controlled. Uh, you've got a panel here. You've got a panel over here on the other side of the bed. There's a main panel, which I'm sure you saw. We'll go back here to the main living area. You got one there. This guy's probably a foot wide and six inches, seven inches tall. Um, so back to the bedroom, king size bed. Again, another slide. This slide runs all the way into the bathroom where those louver doors is. There's a wash and dryer I'm gonna show you. Um, so bedroom, got a little, you could use it as a little office table, makeup station for you ladies. Um, Again, another Samsung TV, Sono sound bar. Um, there is a remote here. I'm going to run the TV down. So this is what I'm telling you why it's a, I guess you would consider it an office or a little makeup counter, is there's a mirror behind it. So when you run the TV down um, and out of your way, it's just on a little remote. You can see I'm pressing here. So the TV goes down. Very nice countertop, probably three and a half, four foot wide and a couple, two or three feet deep there. So, um, wash and dryer, a LG direct drive. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Again, over the top on everything. Um, little vanity sink here in the corner. I like their logo too. Check out that embroidered in multiple places in the coach. So, all right, we'll spin around here and the star of the show. We got another commode there. How about the shower? Glass door, okay. Open him up here. I like the drain, see that? The drain, all the water just runs to the one end there. I've seen that in a couple newer homes that I've been in, so it's kind of some new design. Very nice, very clean. And the ceiling kind of looks like some type of skin. It's I know that's not real, but it um, it's kind of got a padded, maybe a quarter inch foam behind it. Wow. I hope you enjoyed the interior. Um, I'm learning a lot about this one as I go. It's the first 1492 we've had here at Chase Motorsports. Um, looking to uh, potentially grow with this company in the time uh, times to come. So would love to hear from you. Please uh, give me a call if I can answer any questions. We're located in Paducah, beautiful Paducah, Kentucky, off of Interstate 24. And um, would love to earn your business. So this coach is available. Uh, it's here at my shop. and. Um, Check out my phone number there on the screen. Call me, text me. Um, we just launched a new website. It's race-haulers, R-A-C-E-haulers. You'll see it there on the screen, .com. Check it out, view our inventory. Uh, we're gonna have a coming soon page. So that means something that um, that maybe we are, or we just traded for, just got in, don't quite have it ready yet, but we wanna give you the opportunity to put your name on it. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales, I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, please give me a shout with any questions. Have a great evening. 
All right, folks, bonus coverage. I made a whoopsie. I noticed as I was closing the coach up that I didn't turn on the party lights. And it's nighttime. It's gotten dark here in Paducah. There's no moon out. And I hit the party light button and I had to open everything back up and show you. So at 1492 Coachworks, you will notice they not only go above and beyond on the outside of the coach, just like they do on the inside of the coach, okay? Look at that, look at their logo lit up there on the corner. Now, let me show you inside. Oh, one more thing. I gotta show you up on the nose of this. Underglows, we got awning lights. It is party time in Paducah. Well, not really. It's actually a really cold Wednesday night, but this kind of amped it up. How about this? Their logo in the grill. Just look up in the windshield. Oh, yeah. Let me take you inside. I know lights may be trivial to some, but I think they are super cool. All right. I got to put a little WD-40 on the door for sure. How about this? Lights under the table between the theater seating. Look at the kitchen. Oh, yeah. All right. Spin around here. How about the toilet? Half bath. How about that? Bedroom area. And the master bath. Okay. Sorry. I know we try to keep these videos short, but I could not um, end the uh, video without uh, showing you the party line. So appreciate you watching and uh, hope you have a good one. Give me a shout if I can help you. Thanks.